Hey everyone, it's Jamie Zebra 23. Good morning. So I wanted to um, just go on here and talk about this while I'm multitasking this morning, trying to get the kids ready before I upload the um, the mid month um, the mid month September 2020s. So I know a lot of you out there are like Jamie Zebra 23. When is you know the person who hurt me gonna get their karma? I know I do lots of videos on this because this is like the number one, other than a Scorpio, <laughs> this is the second most asked thing. So I always tell you guys it's in due time. I always tell you guys, you know, the universe has to take from them what they took from. It's got to be an equal thing. The, so, so let's say my car got taken away. Maybe for the next person, if their car gets taken away, like let's say somebody took my car away, for example. So would karma mean that they would, that the person who took my car away, they would get their car taken? Well, what if they got 20 other cars? It won't hurt them, right? So that's why the universe can't give back the same exact, they can't take the same thing because it might not hurt them. So let's say your daughter got taken. God forbid. Well, let's say the next person over doesn't have a daughter. You know, it's it, it, it's got to be inflicted the same way. Whatever whatever the emotional damage, mental damage, financial, it's got to be inflicted the same way. So t sometimes the universe has to wait for someone to have no no lifeline. They got to wait for them to completely be depleted and no money before they can start taking stuff. Now let's okay. So we got that covered. So now let's talk about this other thing. What if you're a bad person? What if that person that you met that hurt you, what if that was to balance your karma? Because I, there's a person that I talk to, this person is outright a racist, this person is outright a negative person, this person's outright a narcissist, outright thinks everybody owes them something, outright. What they're always talking about, when is the other person gonna get their karma? Well, if you're not living right, and I'm not judging people, but, you know, for, for the sake of example, um, if you're a horrible person and you're putting an evil vibration out into the world, then how do you know those negative things that are happening to you aren't your karma? And we all have to change. You know... Another example, let's take me, you know, um, that um, the illegal immigrant from El Salvador, no way, Jose, I believe he was my karma for all the fucked up things I did in relationships, romantic wise, all the head games I played. Oh, no way, Jose was my karma. I firmly believe that. It was the worst and the best experience of my life all at the same time. The worst experience, because it's not fun to pay back karma. <laughs> the best experience, because I paid back my karma, my life has been amazing ever since. So I had to repent for the things that I did. And sometimes, you know, the universe doesn't, realization sometimes isn't enough. So even though the universe, when I went through one of my many spiritual awakenings, even though the universe definitely showed me, you know, there was th there were situations where I thought they went one way. The universe showed me how they really went, and I didn't look very nice. <laughs> I looked like money grubbing, rotten, bratty, you know, no good person. Yeah, because that's how it really went. You know, I I I, I couldn't change the the story. The the story was what the story was, and that I my bad behavior was the, basically the story of the universe. And I felt guilt, you guys. I felt guilt every day for like a year. Like every day about everything. I tried to repent to everybody who I ever mistreated, who I could find, you know, because it's probably everybody. But anyway, that's, that's another. I don't want to go down another year of guilt. I'm sorry. God. Oh, man. Rotten, rotten. But anyway, so karma. So if you're a bad person putting out negativity into the world, if you're not compassionate, why do you expect compassion? It's kind of like that. Because I know somebody, I was talking to this person, and now these are all different people. So I don't want anyone being like, are you talking about me? Probably not. Because I think the person who, who would, the person I'm talking about doesn't even watch my YouTube channel. So it couldn't be anybody. But somebody was like, 
Well, they got what they deserved. When we're talking about the Black Lives Matter thing, well, they should have been acting right. So I guess they were acting wrong by sitting in their bedroom and getting shot for no reason. I guess they were acting wrong for stealing $20, so they, they deserve murder. So somebody was, you know, so I was like, oh my God. Like this person seriously like, <laughs> yeah. So if you, so if somebody shows no compassion for others and has no mercy for others, don't expect for karma or anyone else to have compassion for you. Oh, you're silly. Where's your baby Yoda? Where's your baby Yoda? All right, guys. So that was a little message about karma. I, I hope I explained it so that you guys can understand because I know sometimes um, I'm not really good at explaining things because it seems to be a, like Dalton says, cue cards. Dalton, I need to get cue cards. All right, jamiezebra23.com to talk for now.